Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. Here's a video for you about brilliant home control switches. Okay, sold on Amazon, works through Alexa, can control with your ring. You have to keep in mind, when they're telling you to wire this, you actually have to wire all three lines, L1, 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 as a parallel. L2 is only if you're going to have a three-way and you kill the other side. It does need a neutral. So if your home is prior to 1960s or 70s, you might have issues because you don't have a neutral. You, you may have a dead-end three-way switch also. Keep in mind here that your commons here, you're only going to use the two that's possible. So in most homes, this is a 2002 home. It had two switches for the ceiling fan and one for a switched outlet. Do you see that outlet right there? It's switched. We tied it through in the back because you cannot dim an outlet. If it only acted as a switch, I could hook it up real easily to this over here. Now the ceiling fan, if your ceiling fan is a Fanimation, possibly a Minka or a Casablanca, and it only has two wires, a black and a white, this will not work. You have to replace your fan. You have to have a black, white, and a red, a blue. So this right here, the blue wire up there went to the red and the black to the black. If you only have two wires up there and you don't have the red up the wall, it won't work either. Unless you're just gonna have the fan and light come on together. So keeping in mind, this is a hunter and this control switch acts as an RF to here. How do you know that? Because there's only two wires. So it was still commanding an RF up here to tell it what to do. This push button was wearing out and this finally died because they were sticking LED and incandescent in the same bulbs and a normal bulb up there. It won't work. Once you get it wired and you tie your switch through, this takes up a three gang opening. And so you'll parallel out your hots and then you'll hook up your neutral black and red. Now this does have an arc fault for the bedroom because of 2002. So if you touch your ground and neutral together, it won't spark, but it'll trip the breaker. Keep in mind though, that if you have multiple circuits in a three gang box, like a hallway, that's circuit 15, 13, and two, you cannot share those neutrals. That could make it more difficult because this only has one neutral import. Therefore you can only use that portion. So for example, this whole room is circuit 16, but if I had 16 and 14 in here, I couldn't possibly do 14 if it was other light fixtures going towards a bigger room. I'd have to have another control. Otherwise the arc fault's just gonna trip. Anyways, guys, this is my first time messing with it, but you should be able to push those buttons to see if it's live or not. It's kind of a bypass. And now I know it's working. Again, I have incandescent bulbs because that's what it needs. This can detect incandescent versus LED. And what's nice is it does sense also the fan. So he's going to be able to use this with his phone and turn on his fan and light. I use Caseta Lutron and they are they don't have the ability. They might now finally with a switch, but not like a little control center. This reminds me of Graphic I2 with Lutron. So if you're going to pre-wire a basement and you're going to have it fresh, it's really nice that you could use a brilliant switch. Considering there, I heard about $300 a switch or more, could be $600, I don't know. But it's a nice ability, but don't fry it because it's a really easy to do if you're making a mistake. A little confusing, we never use C as a common, but they use C as an output. They should have called it load, but they wanted to show you L1 versus L2. L2 is only for the three-way. L1 is all you need if it's all single. How do you know it's a single pole? Because that's a single light, a single fan, and a single outlet. If it's three-way, it would be from two different locations. But I have done control four. I've done um, green tree motion sensors. They all have to dead end sometimes one of the sides of the three-way because they have to have a neutral on the other. So when you do that, it kills it. 
what I like about Caseta Lutron is it doesn't do that, and I can still use it on my phone. But for this being like a little command center with the ring, I guess you can talk room to room, face to face. I guess if you're just going to shut your door and talk and see each other, you could do that too in the house. But this is assuming, again, you have a three-gain spot for three-gain opening. If you don't, and there's only one or there's six openings or five, you'll cut this in above and fish those wires up and not mix up your neutral, common, and hot. Typically using a 14.4 or 14.3. All right, guys, thanks for joining us.